How to get revenge, boys. Oh, nice. Feel that rhythm? Makes me want to get revenge. That's the sound of 1989. Serving up ice cold revenge tunes. Shout out to the VOD, everyone watching on the YouTube. And shout out to the Discord, those of you who suggested this. This yeah. is like a tape on, like, someone cut you off on the highway? Here's mm. how to get back at them. What? That's like, such a strange thing to think of, like, for a... Like, <laughs> What Let the, the thumbnail update. Yeah. Okay. How to get revenge, just in general. And I guess they preface this by saying like, oh, this is just jokes. But it, this straight up is like, someone prank calls you. Gift here's sucks. how someone with you. Here's how you back. Oh. That's what this tape was. I mean, I guess they were looking for new stuff in the 80s. They're like, yo, we got to try something There's new There's a market here, for everything. Guys. Yeah, back then, instructions for anything. And it was also a lot easier to get revenge and not get caught back then. This is probably true. And it was also before the internet where people could get really, really fringe and really, really crazy. Yeah. So this is in yeah. a way like some of the first self-help videos in like a really toxic, <laughs> toxic, fucked yeah. up, weird way. Oh, we should do a disclaimer. Uh, we, we don't recommend you do any of this in real life. Uh, we don't recommend you stalk and harass people online. Bad. Don't do it. Nope. Uh, you, you will get in trouble. You'll, you, may, you may even go to jail, and you might even hurt yourself. Don't so do don't it. do that. This is all for funs and memes. Thank you. Love no, yourself no, and love your neighbors. Do this. I was just reading a few pages from a fascinating from book. A fascinating? It is literally filled with the little girl from The Exorcist? Of wisdom. Linda One Blair. particular deserves quoting. Isn't that her? Yeah. We should be scared then. Probably. Don't fucking make any jokes. She knows how to get revenge. Dude, something's going to pop out. Dude. I'm scared She now. was a bride of Satan, right? Just I'm very afraid now. Yeah, AO, right. thank you, AO, and everybody, Vengeance thank you guys. is mine. Now, that's a powerful I saw quote. that human potato. And from what book am I reading? The Bible. That's oh, right. there's plenty of revenge plots in that. Mm. Jesus got revenge from time to time. Yo, yeah. he fucking came back and he was Bro. like, yo, get in line, bitch. <laughs> he got the ultimate revenge, dog. Yo, he yeah. could he could cure your blindness. He could also give you blindness. You never read the Bible before. He was a sorcerer. He could just mm. fucking boop, gone. Mm -hmm. You boop. know what else I've read in a Bible? An eye for two eyes. You get both of them. Both of them? Oh. Yeah, that's in the Satanic Bible. I thought, that's what, I thought that's what Bass Rutten said in his self-defense video. <laughs> yeah. Bang it to bang it well, He was quoting, dude. Yeah. Satan did. He was pulling straight from the Bibes. <clears throat> the Bible. Now, let me ask you a personal question. Oh, personal. At some time in your life, has someone ever made you so angry, so yeah. upset, that you considered some form of retribution? Yeah, I ban God people damn that all the face, time. Face, bro, she wants revenge. Retribution. You ever had retribution in your soul? I got that retro retribution. You ever try to get that retribution? Chat's like, yeah, damn. damn. Who God did damn. you dirty? Who man? has it, dude? Everybody. Every Mario Party. Every... <laughs> she broke yeah. my heart. Oh, every When I lost Mario the party. title by one Silent. star, yeah. one pop Mario star party. from me. You lost me. a Mario Party game, Jeff. I feel so bad for you. <laughs> Is this your way of Don't getting revenge? Don't bring it up, dude. Uh -oh. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Wait, 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 we're not using any of this stuff in Mario Party, are we? No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. no, no, no we no, don't no, condone no. any of these toxic tips. Some form of revenge. Revenge. Of course oh, the you dual have. dual camera? You wouldn't be human unless you did. Whoa! Revenge is a natural emotion. The only problem that you is should suppress, right? That, we are all raised <laughs> that you should give in to the urge. Junior. A dish best served Intro. cold. Society does not condone such lewd displays of conduct, at least not openly, and that is why we are here. Hi, are we in a I'm secret Linda society? Blair, welcoming you to so How weird. to Get Revenge. During this program, you're going to in. become quite literally an expert in the field of revenge. Now, when I talk about revenge, I'm not talking about bodily injury to oh. anybody. I mean, that is definitely not our purpose here. Not cool. Our okay. aim is to simply inform you of the options you have to make that person ah, the experience the same humiliation. Yes, yes, same yes. Give me the anguish, options. How do I get back at this asshole? Dude, how fucked up is that? She's like, oh, we don't want you to, like, hurt anybody. Yeah, not physically. But you can psychologically abuse them Damage. and humiliate them. Yeah. Nothing yeah. illegal about That's that, brother. That's completely fine. Nothing wrong with just fucking around. Your Sweet. Honor, I'm just living rent-free in someone's head. Is this the mechanic that screwed you over? We're going to learn dozens of tricks of the trade. His yeah, voice. You need some new headlight <laughs> fluid. Oh, no, no, no. So you're going to have to do, redo all this stuff here. It's going to cost a lot more. Yeah, your rotary way. camshaft is all kaput. <laughs> yeah, the whole yeah, engine's yeah, gone. Your processor is looking a little old. Um. It's in the field, including private Oh, my God, what's Carl Sagan doing? <laughs> <laughs> 
This mother, Holy shit. Get mother, out of there. That's for male. This motherfucker that's, thinks the earth is flat. You Most crazy of him. guy. That's serious vandalism, dude. Hollow what earth, huh? Piece of shit. Holy fuck. This guy believes in hollow earth. I'll show him that there's billions of stars. You made me say that D's nuts thing in front of all my friends? Carl Sagan, don't. Oh, don't do God, it. God, he's when humiliating up. Officers and other virtuosos what the of fuck? invocation. Oh, oh, oh yo, fast, yo, forward, yo, fast forward, 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 boy. He's like, I planted nudie magazines in someone's front lawn. I'm gonna get revenge on the Djibouti show for talking shit on my VHS tape. <laughs> <laughs> Some more elaborate, but all designed to obtain the goals you desire. Okay. And you are also so Yo, dude. What a Adonis of the human form. I want to make my Street Fighter say. custom character no. look like this guy. I'm not saying anything bad about this guy. He's probably a revenge expert. I'm just saying I think he's a cool dude. He's he looks... the inventor of the Apple goggles. Look at him. He looks like he's going to cause some hurt. <laughs> Apple goggles. I can barely see his eyes. Apple goggles. <laughs> Dude, I want that guy's eyes to be projected on my Apple goggles. And then just Vision that mustache. Just... Yeah. Comes with it. See and hear fascinating stories from people just like you, who were at one time victimized, yet came back to achieve the ultimate revenge. Oh, Ooh, revenge the expert. mechanic, dude. Scary. Let's face it, revenge can be sweet, especially when it's against someone who really deserves it. Whoa. And yeah. I'm sure we all know a few of those, right? Former right. friends, <laughs> lovers. Dude, the 80s right. were toxic as fuck, bro. Right, brother. We you know. Oh, oh my dude. God, dude. You know, fucking dude. 80s. You know who deserves it. Members, uh, the list is virtually limitless. And you know what? We all practice revenge on a daily basis, and we don't even realize it. What? Example. What? Example. Have you ever tried to change lanes on the freeway, but yes. the idiot in the other lane won't let you? Yes. Oh, all the time. Yeah. Get out of the way, you fucking I hate kid. when this happens. Dude. That's never happened. You're hey. the one. <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. So what do you do? Yeah. You do? You're fucking crazy, motherfucker. Yeah, so yeah. what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, well. Slow down and go behind them because they're obviously unhinged mentally. No, oh, dude, you fucking get revenge, no, it's an Louis. Opportunity for revenge. Didn't <laughs> you learn on. nothing? Oh, let me Louis. see. Let me see. I'm trying to, to teach chat what they're supposed to do. Okay? I'm language. the voice of reason for once I on the show. Hey, listen. What, what I learned so far <laughs> is revenge is completely legal under the Judeo Christian law, oh. and it's encouraged. You wow. blocked him out. She blocked him out. Now you've had your revenge. <laughs> That's it? On her exit, she blocked him at... Well, I hope that was her exit. Yeah, that's not what you do. You grab a whole handful of change, and you give it to him and say, here's for your parking. Mm -hmm. mm, gently <laughs> give it to them. Well, wow. I didn't say gently. Kill him with kindness. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this happen before. I'm guilty of this, you know, right? Not letting the person merge lanes, because I feel like they're, you know... They've overstayed their welcome. Yeah, as long as someone's line. not a dick, like, I always go... I'll, like... I let people through. It's good karma, man. Yeah. You just got to do it. But I see it happen fairly often, gotta. too. One of the funniest ones was because it was like a freeway ramp that went. It's like one of those ones that goes up, too. Mm -hmm. So you just get to see this lady the whole time. This guy in front of me just wouldn't let her off. And she was honking, and he just wouldn't let her. And then she just had to go to different exits. She just went up, and you just saw her the whole time. She's Fuck. going up going, fucking losing her mind, dude. This one happens a lot in California. Yeah. Uh, what's, was... what's to be known, though, is like a car is like, a you know, what, two tons? And like you're going, uh, you know, 60, 80 miles an hour? Yeah. Uh, you might want to let that one just go. Since yep. childhood, we've been practicing some form of revenge. Have Remember we? as a kid, ordering a pizza by telephone and having it delivered to another kid's house that you disliked? Sound familiar? Or maybe you remember this classic oh, bit of revenge. You get a free pizza. You gotta pay for it. Well, oh, well you get a pizza. Mm. You gotta pay for it, but you, you didn't got a ask pizza. for a pizza. But who, like, if a guy right now, like, rang the doorbell, hey, I got all these pizzas. Dude, that happens. You gotta tell him, get the fuck out of here. My friends do that to me. No, I don't want what's in. I don't want what's in there. I don't want it. Hey, if you, if I didn't ask for a pizza, and some guy shows up with a box and goes, "Hey, I brought something that I want you to put in your mouth," I'd be like, "I don't know who the fuck you are." You could try next door. I don't know. Yeah, I go. That's all you. That's all you. That's a you thing. I don't want what's. I don't want to see what's in that box, dude.
I'm with Jeff. People are with Jeff. Yeah, yeah have a pizza party. Go for right. it. Now that you bring that up, how you got me scared? I'm like, well, Jeff, fuck. Jeff, go to Jeff's house. Now. He'll eat whatever you bring. I can't eat pizza now. God <laughs> Don't damn. bring anything to my fucking house. I've learned a saying. There's no, there's no free lunches in nature. <laughs> but it's pizza, dude. It's always a good time. Yeah, but you're going to look at it, though. You're going to take a quick peek. Like, bro, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know. That's your favorite sausage. I don't want to know. He asked for sausage before he got to the house. That's all I'm saying. I didn't ask for it. I don't want to know what's wrong with it. Hell yeah, brother. Let's see, Jeff. (laughs) There's extra frosting on this Oreo pizza cake. Ookie cookie. Nah, dude. Yeah, it's weird as fuck. Nah. The idea was to fill a paper bag with fresh animal Here you droppings. Go, sucker. Fresh animal droppings. We've actually done that. I've done that before. Oh, I've yeah. done that. oh you mean bioterrorism? Yeah, it was fucked up. That's nice. pretty fucked up. Wait, man. they're not going to light it on fire, Earth are they? Better. Yeah. Then place it on the victim's doorstep. Arson. See, that's. Once done, that's light pushing the bag it. This is arson. If bioterrorists poop there for door. them to step in if they don't notice, that's funny. When you light it on fire, that's where it's dangerous and you could kill somebody. Mm, the old poop fire. Yeah, the old man steps on it. He's got his, like polyester yeah. long pants. He's, it's a classic, dude. Goes up like that. <laughs> then run to his backyard. Then when the victim arrived, usually the neighborhood grouch, Stupid he had no choice but to put out the fire. Oh, wow! Oh, that's a lot of dude. Yo, that's a lot of chocolate oh, my mousse. God, Holy it shit. girded everywhere. Dude. Your dog has... Me- Health issues. They packed that in that Jello pudding. Meanwhile, now you got slurm all over your porch. Yo, he almost slipped on a banana. Wait, I never seen this part of it. You yeah, I never their, did that. You shit. go in their backyard after. You do the gurney in this side. Only Blair would encourage this kind of behavior. I was an asshole, but I wasn't a dipshit. This would cause the startled victim to run back through his home. <laughs> Yeah. He's got all this Story shit on him. Oh! Why is he chat dancing? <laughs> He's like doing it on purpose. you made your clean exit. <laughs> Dude. Fasten your seatbelts. Dude, the, 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 the amount of pudding that came out of that dog shit was crazy. That poor dog. <laughs> Dude, this video is too good. By the way, For everybody that- has a ring camera now, so good luck doing this yeah, and getting away with it. Can't yeah, it. these are uh, tales of the past. Now it's time for us to explore the more serious forms of revenge. We've assembled several of the top professionals in the field of revenge to guide us through this endeavor. First off, we're going to meet we private expert. investigator Mark Lewis. P.I. Master Lewis of Revenge. Mr. Lewis has aided hundreds of victims in getting When I'm not down in a diner getting a big Reuben sandwich. Retribution. <laughs> I'm studying ways to Next get revenge. Next up is investigator Kyle This Pack guy scares me. Who will give us pointers on how to cause havoc with a Mark's home. Put clothes in the Put gym also laundry? Also, a presently active police detective who we'll refer to as J.M. He J. will enlighten M. us with his vast knowledge of seeking revenge by mail. Uh, and then there's Officer P.F., another presently active police officer who will show Rogers? us the many ways your telephone can cause tremendous damage to your enemy. Whoa. But first, let's oh, begin sus. with private investigator Quinn Vickers. Mr. Vickers specializes Yo, in getting desk. even with former friends some and shit. lovers. Such a private investigator Mr. Desk. Vickers, could you give us an example of what could be done to a former friend or lover? Love examples, huh? I don't do examples, this is huh? so creepy. Like, oh. oh, she broke up with me? Now it's time to get revenge. Revenge. That's not okay. a good reason to get revenge. Yes, Maybe they just don't fucking like you because yeah. you're a weirdo who wants to get revenge on them if they break <laughs> up with you. That's fucking weird. Mm-hmm. You should go seek counseling and stop dating other people because there's something wrong with you. But what if you want to get revenge, <laughs> though? I was going to let you just have the floor there, Lou. Get them, dude. What about friends? Get them. I have this. Ayo, shrimp. Yo, thank you, shrimp. She says, uh, FYI, skip past there. Thank you, Ayo. Thank you. This client, whose best friend, 1237. Came to him thank you. And talked him into investing in a real estate scam. Real estate scam. Yo, dude, this guy's guy drunk. See, he seen some <laughs> shit. $10,000 talking. He promised my uh, client that he'd get a 75% return on his money within three months. Uh oh. And being that they were good friends, well, my client didn't think that his friend would screw him. <laughs> well, he sure did. <laughs> and the worst thing that happened was that when he found out that his so called friend had made approximately $3,500 on the deal, and that's when my client first came to me. Wow. What did you have him immediately do? Immediately? Nothing. Not a, not a damn thing. What? You see, the secret with revenge is patience. Ah. Patience. Ah. If he were to act right away, his so-called friend would have caught on. 
-hmm. And he would have called the authorities or done something in return to my client. And that would have meant he won again and my client loses again. So you wait. wait. In this case, I waited a couple of months. Damn. Then I hit him on several levels. Oof. Hit First him. of all, I took a death certificate and whited out the former information. <gasps> oh, dude, we're going deep. Oh, we're doing identity fraud. That is what? Going oh, deep, deep, dude. We're going deep, deep, deep. Oh, you're admitting to a federal uh, offense. I erased him as a person. That's a crime. That's a crime. I erased him. Filled in his don't, name Don't there. do this, chat. Whatever. And along with a letter stating that I was his wife, I sent the uh, death certificate and the letter off to the Bureau of Internal Revenue and the Social Security office. Next year comes tax time. He's screwed with the Internal Revenue. I necromancer. When he wants to change jobs, <laughs> he's screwed again. Dude, the guy can't get a job. He's a non-person. Says here, no. uh, you're dead. You died. I'm sorry, oh, sir. We're not I'm hiring dead, dead people. My God. No, this is uh, this is clearly a mistake. I'm clearly alive. <laughs> this guy just gave up his whole crime. <laughs> and history. how did he Dude, get the guy's social security shit. number? I went to his garbage. Yeah, he's and a I waited PI. for months. PI. <laughs> I love that she's like, we don't want to physically harm anyone, but proceeds to share the most heinous, toxic, evil bullshit on how to get revenge on somebody. We're starting off pretty hot and heavy here. Yeah. Yo, what coming in with a tier three? One hundred. One hundred <laughs> months, dude. Thank you, what for a hundred months of what? sub. Tier three. A hundred years. I can still spill the fresh paint. Thank you, dude. Thank you, what? Shout out to our man. Shout out to our hundies today. And way down the road, when he finally wants to collect, no social security. Damn. Oh my god, he ruined this guy's future in terms of revenge. Wow. Over uh over what was it? Three thousand bucks? Couple thou. Damn man. He could get the Apple Vision Pro, dude. <laughs> Not anymore. I mean, three thousand dollars <laughs> in nineteen eighty nine was a lot of money. That was a lot of money. <laughs> hit him in the pocketbook, eh? Better yet, hit him while he's down. After all, my client wasn't the heavy here. He was just trying to even up the score. Ten grand. Next I made appointments for this punk with several professionals, doctors, lawyers, dentists, you name it. And I'm talking dozens here. So when he doesn't show up, he's got a lot of pissed off professionals. Not only that, several of them, as you may well know, will bill him for not showing up. <laughs> Ouch. So he can't get a doctor anymore? Ouch. He's dead? Uh, he can't collect social security? This guy's fucked. That he might as well bad. be dead. This is bad. I sure hate to be him. Yeah, so would I. But remember what the Bible says. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can't, you can't draw Wait. all that and then go straight to a Bible quote. The fuck? No, no, no. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> Yo! I was just there last Sunday. You can't do that. Hear me out. For an eye. An eye for an eye. Jesus said I mean, that. This guy I said an eye for two eyes. eyes. Two eyes for an is, eye. Is this says, guy still yeah. alive? An eye for an eye. Remember, this guy did my client in. Okay, then I finally topped off the whole escapade by severing his marriage. Uh, he Dude, fucked his wife? You took already his took wife. everything Dude, away from this man. man. He fucked his right wife. Right in front of him. What would Jesus do? Right in front of him. <laughs> Jesus said, fuck you, four eyes. Fuck his wife. <laughs> <laughs> this took a little work, but it was worth it. <laughs> Getting rid of a wife was a little bit harder than that. My God, took some persuasion. Oh my God. Oh, he's waiting. I waited outside of his home. I've got it as loud as it will go. By the way, watch to see if he'd leave home at night and at what time. Eventually, he did, and I noted on what day and what time. I then waited until he returned and made note of that time. Stalked him for months. Oh, said wow. months Dude, that's gonna be such him. a shitty job. PIs. Ugh. We got any PIs in the chat? It was Once worth it. Just sitting around waiting. To, uh, well, we'll see what time he comes home. Oh, Watching he came people. home. Proof oh, of one of his morning. evening treks away from home. I purchased an inexpensive woman's shoe from a local store. I then wrapped it in a small box. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bro. I wrote him a love letter. Then using the letterhead, <laughs> he goes right, way baby. too deep. Like just, like let it go, bro. I wrote him a big love letter. I love, I love you so much, is... sweetie. I can't <laughs> wait to see you again. Available love, in most hotel rooms. I typed a letter saying the following: 
Dear Mr. and Mrs. He's and typing on a milk crate. There. <laughs> he loves it. When the two of you were here on the evening of, and I put the date the man left home, your wife forgot her shoe. Oh. Here it is. We'd appreciate the return of $2.50 for postage. Thank you, the management of Night Night <laughs> like in the, the Hotel cheap scale. It's like uh, Return it with the proper handling. Oh my god. Dude, this is unreal. Anyhow, to make a long story short, the upshot of the downshot is that his wife finally files for divorce. Nice. He has to sell the home. God. The cars, the stocks, everything. I guess you could say my client finally came out on top. I think he took more than three thousand dollars from his life. What a fucking monster! Can he dude. literally do anything? <laughs> no, he uh, erased his, uh, everything he's got. You're his whole dead. Life. You own nothing. You have no money. You can't go to any doctors or dentists. You uh, just like it. sugar in the gas tank or something like that. Like after that, I spit on him. Jesus. <laughs> Boy, I get have wrecked. Agree. Imagine that breaking up a marriage through the U.S. mail. Amazing. But what's even more amazing is the many other ways that you can use the post office in a vengeful manner. Oh, yeah, let's make our uh, local crimes federal by using the U.S. Postal Service. Oh my you God. always hear that about the mail. Don't fuck with mail, boy. Don't fuck yeah, with that you shit, don't fuck dude. With the mail. Examples is Detective Ooh. J.M. Detective, could you give us some examples of revenge by mail? Revenge by mail is only limited by the person's imagination. For the most part, the examples I'm about to give are ones I've learned while on the job. Although I must admit, a couple of them are my own creations. But let's get to it. One of my favorite pranks is very simple, but very effective. It can be a real pain in the butt. What you do is go down to your local post office, uh -huh. get a change of address form, fill oh. in the victim's name and address, oh, no. and the new address. Asshole. It can be anywhere your heart desires. God damn around it. the block to around the world. And if you also receives gifts or valuable items in the mail, I suggest making the local Salvation Army as the new address. This guy's a detective. Isn't he going to tell you, like, if you get caught, you'll do fucking prison time? Uh, well, he's not a lawyer, so he doesn't have to tell you the repercussions. Yeah, it's just uh, kind of... He could just be like, uh, I wouldn't do this. Or any other place which might benefit from such items. Another way to create havoc and also make your victim shell out money is to look through magazines and catalogs. Oh, don't set people up with a magazine subscription. Oh, God. The hardest thing to ever get expensive rid of. expensive items in there. They can be bought now and paid for later. So order as many expensive items as you can and mail it to your victim's address. Another thing to do is to join these Book of the Month clubs, Wreck of the Month clubs, or whatever of the month clubs. Ever try to get off one of those lists? Can you imagine being in 10 of those lists? Oh. I'd like to play a little game with you, if that's all right. I watch our time I'll stamp. give you a situation. All right, let's jump, mm -hmm. maybe. And then I'd like you to respond with a method Ten of male minutes. revenge that you would recommend. Okay, shoot. Let's... Okay, shoot. Uh, we'll, we'll skip ahead. We're there's skipping a, the booba part. There's, a, well, there's a, a naughty yeah. part, huh? Oh, okay. Is keep going, it? keep going, keep going. Yeah. He's, oh, he plants a nudie mag on somebody? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Some do How's this guy, Point though? Yeah. Show us, can't show you. Can't show you, Chad. It's on YouTube. <coughs> Do your own research. All oh, those transitions, yep. though, dude. <laughs> it's a common fact of life that there are those people out there, a small number, but nonetheless, they're out there, those who feel that they have to stress their superiority over others. Some what? do it at their work with fellow workers. Some do it at sports, on the athletic fields. Some do it in their love life. Yet there are just a few who feel a great need to stress their superiority over decent, honest, basic human beings, mm. such as my client, Mr. Harold Jerriman, over here. No one laugh. Oh. It will get revenge on you if you laugh, chat. No. Don't. Harold, why don't you pick it up? So this guy here? thinks he's superior oh. to others? What a twist. Don't laugh at him. <clears throat> well, the incident took place on... Uh, Thursday. going to start talking like uh, office space. Well, they took my stapler <laughs> and they put me in the basement. Thursday afternoon during my lunch break. A succulent Chinese meal. I was eating meal. at a little diner across the street. <laughs> from what the, the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> Good luck. Where I work. Everything was perfectly oh, normal. This place sucks. God damn it. Whoa. Go get some Chinese, babe. Hey, look at that it guy. Was then that I first that noticed him. He's trying to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he's fucking doing. This guy's cool. 
At first, I didn't pay much attention to him, being more interested in my meal. However, it soon became evident that he was a troublemaker. Oh, hey, someone to fuck with. a good place to sit. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, he's struggling. <laughs> Harold, no. he's hurting, Bloody. dude. Mind if we eat here? Well, actually, yes. But there are other tables available. I know that, Wimp, but I want to eat at this one because I want to watch my truck, you understand? If you give me a moment, I'm just about finished. Oh, just about finished, huh? Well, I can't wait. He fucking smacked you he every slapped word. Oh. eating a succulent oh, Chinese fuck? meal. Oh, I can't wait. Slapped every word. Give him a little Son, blast it looks up. looks to me like your orders to go. Oh! <gasps> and that's when you pepper spray him. Oh, my God. Hot Chinese on my lap. Damn, oh, dude. Fuck 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 this. How do you possibly get revenge on someone like that? I was terrified. I had no choice but to leave. Chopsticks in the eyes. Didn't even pay. But no As physical I was harm. Leaving, I noticed the man's license plate number and made a mental <laughs> note of it. Oh. <laughs> I was so humiliated. This kind of thing happened to me many times in the past. Many? And I wanted to Dude, get I mean, that he's man. going out eating with chopsticks like this. He's a, yeah, I think there's a he's problem. He's asking for it, dude. He was tossing his chicken salad. Okay? My man is asking for it. This is his side of the story, but I'm sure if we asked those two, we're like, we tried to help this guy who's eating chopsticks <sighs> like a fucking idiot, and he started crying. And then he, he <laughs> poured the rice onto his lap. <laughs> but if that's the other side fucking of the story, God. huh? I looked upon him as being all the people who have hurt me rolled into one. And that's when I contacted Mr. Vickers. They so contacted you. Well, when Harold first came to me, he didn't know what to do. All he had was the punk's license number, but that was enough for me. I went down to the Department of Motor Vehicles. And whereas we're watching it, but I could download it and get it louder if we want. Is it, is it too quiet? I can't get it any louder. Uh, it sounds fine to me. Yeah. I can hear fine. I'm fine. Cool. And Chad, is it good for you? It's good. It's All right. Little, uh, okay. Stating that... Um, you know, I had a small accident right, with cool. this guy, and I was just checking chat. to verify his address. Within a couple of days, I had the punk's address. Oh, no. Now, Here we go again, this guy. I watched him for a few months. So I... <laughs> it's always like... So he's, he's how it started. Six months, yeah. I watched the guy. He did say you got to be patient. Well, yeah. he doesn't have yeah. to be patient if he doesn't know the guy. Because how is he going to know... License plate. Oh, that guy from the Chinese... He uh, said license plate. Yeah. His you know? license plate. So he based he got off the of license that. plate. No, but what DMV. I'm saying is, if you fuck with the weird, weird, tan, the the guy in the fucking muscle shirt, muscle shirt, if you fuck with him, yeah. he's not gonna know who did it because he doesn't even know who this guy is. But that's the best type of that's revenge. That's the good revenge, right? Because yeah. you're completely. It's coming. Honest. It's coming, Lou. Be because here, like the revenge is cosmic, right? It's why is this happening to me? But deep down inside, this guy knows. It's not about mm. sending a message. It's about fucking with. Him. It's about fucking him. Yeah. He was adamant about getting even with him himself, so we laid out a battle plan. Well, Harold, you take over, buddy. With pleasure. Once I had the... <laughs> what did you get? ...man's name and address, I decided to start off with what the man apparently wanted. Food. So from a payphone across the street from the man's apartment, I called about 15 takeout restaurants and had them send him all types of food. And I had them spaced out so that they would arrive about every 15 minutes. <laughs> Let me... Back Classic. Guy fucking loves it, dude. Good that that was sick. He's, he's like, that was it. that was Melvin. That was Harold's idea. That was yeah. me. That's a good one. I gotta write that down. <laughs> Space it out. Space. Oh, he classic. loves this shit, dude. Classic Harold. A moment to tell you that there had been a series of robberies at a local convenience store chain. Now, with that in mind, I planted a toy handgun under the truck seat, oh. and I threw in a city map with the locations of the convenience store circled in red. Oh my God! He framed him, bro. Bro. And a few newspaper clippings. Yeah, now I understand why he's making him explain the plot to the story. <laughs> Who the fuck watched this and was like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. I, I should plan a gun that. on that guy. Oh, what movie did you get this from? You My know, God. Stole, stole it from a movie plot. Then I went to a telephone and phoned the police and stated anonymously that I had seen where the robber lived and that I had seen his gun in his truck. To make a long story short, the police arrived just as the man was getting into his truck. When the police saw the gun, the map... And the newspaper clippings. Well, let's just say that the man had a lot of explaining to do down at the station. <laughs> How do you feel now? <laughs> Confident. Confident. Confidence is what you would say. Jesus, that's oh, fucked. Shit, dude. This that's is the so face fucked. of a he crazy got, that's person. That's how people got swatted in the eighties. A lot of Jesus explaining Christ. to do. Of course, I don't go causing trouble for other people, but at least I know I have the confidence in myself 
to know I can get even with anyone. Confidence. <laughs> a quality we all desire, yet surprisingly few of us possess. And the only real way to get confidence? Revenge. Oh my God. Powerful. God. Take someone down. See, go up. Dude. This is fucking crazy, man. It would be so fun to go, the ladder of confidence. go back in time with like your knowledge, awareness, everything today and be back there trying to talk with people like this and reason with them. Like, dude, you guys are fucking crazy. Most of us do possess one of these a telephone. And it so happens that this is the Revenge Seeker's greatest ally. And here to enlighten us on this subject is Ugh, Officer Brown. Oh, this face. Oh, he's an AI. It's the AI uh, face got uh, fucked up. PF, whose looks time. we have electronically altered to protect his identity. I'm going to be demonstrating several... He didn't hide his voice. Could have done that too. Yeah. Methods Maybe they didn't have the tech yet. Phone reprisal using my <laughs> own personal phone. Now, some of the techniques that I'm going to talk about can be done in your home, but some of them are going to require the use of a payphone. And I'll explain that as we go along. Shit, where do we now, find those? first of all, if the prank you're going to pull requires you to talk to the mark yourself on the phone the mark. and the mark recognizes your voice, then I suggest that you use ah. a handkerchief placed over the mouthpiece what? of the phone. Now, it I know that you've voice. seen this in, in millions of, of movies mm. and, and TV shows, but the fact remains that it works. I want to hear it though. Now, before we get even with that, <laughs> this so zoom in weird. on the censored face is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking AI video. In low life in your life, let me just ask you a little question. What is the most valuable possession that a human being has? Their life. Apple Vision Pro goggles. <laughs> fucking expensive. Jesus. You give up? I gave up. I already don't know. My dick and balls. I don't know. The answer is time. Oh! oh. How are you guys so dumb? Oh, it's that's time. Right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You can never get time back. You can get your life back. Time is precious. <laughs> re re don't up you your just death hate certificate. It when somebody... and don't you hate when someone wastes your time? Wastes your time. Don't you hate that? And yeah. time is money, too. Time is money, so, friend. So when you get a mark to waste his time, <laughs> you're getting him in more ways than just one. Now, I've, I've found this particular routine to be, this guy's to be a police very officer? effective. This couch is so gross. It's just like a bunch of piss stains. <laughs> it looks like dirty underwear. This whole house is just banana, rotten banana like house. ugly bullshit <laughs> color. <laughs> so gross. When the mark is married or living with their lover. Now, if the mark is a man... <laughs> oh, but oh. she's down! <laughs> She's Wait, like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> I'm a raw dog. Care. My identity. <laughs> Should I twenty bucks to do like a ten minute job? Dude, sure. But in your neighborhood, though, you're walking around like you'd be recognized. Mm -hmm. Would know you. You'd be like, oh, you're with the one with the lady. A close female friend of yours, like my friend Monica here, to help you out. Now, if the mark is a woman, obviously you're going to do just the opposite. Now, and one of the fellow officers go, hey, that Monica, she's always hanging out with Frank. I think it's fun. it sounds just like Frank. Yes, Frank's Frank. the guy who killed the guy. <laughs> Frank yeah. does have a salmon sweater. Yeah. <laughs> That's that shitty couch. Let's assume that the Mark's name is Bill. Bill. Now, when Bill leaves home, mm -hmm. you get your female friend to call up his home phone number. And when his mate Pinkerchief. answers, you get her to say something like this. Uh, oh, hi. Is Bill, uh, uh never mind. Then you have her hang up the phone. Now, this will definitely sow seeds of suspicion into Bill's relationship. <laughs> and if you follow up with a late night phone call, hanging up without Bill. speaking when the mate answers the phone, oh. well, then you'll really foul things up a lot. <laughs> Dude, people in the <laughs> 80s were so evil. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Now he's going to get a bunch of shit. If your Mark happens to be in a business where he meets customers in, in various locations, then don't disappoint him. Using a fictitious name, set up meetings at, at various locations around the city, in, in restaurants and bars and hotels. And then by the time he's uh, traveled around town and he realizes that he's been burned, he's wasted lots of time and money. Monica, why don't you tell everyone <laughs> what happened to you recently and exactly what you did about it? Okay. I was working as a temp in this office, and I was only supposed it. to be there for what a the? couple of days. And immediately, I had trouble with this nasty tramp of a secretary who had been with the company for Whoa. 20 years. Well, she told me I wasn't even competent enough to make coffee, and she complained about everything what? I did. 
Water. Well, you can't even make coffee. After two days of this, I had had it with her. So I phoned her boss. And when he answered the phone, I told him I was with the rival company and that his secretary recently applied for work with us. <laughs> Ooh. And then I continued on and asked him questions about his, his secretary, if she was good, had good work habits, etc. Anyway, to make a long story short, make it short, the boss, feeling betrayed, fired the woman. Damn. And guess who took her place? Oh, Damn. Oh, shit. Coming up. Yo, that coffee's tasting extra sweet. You know, it's Damn. just like Jesus said. An eye for an eye. And you want coffee? You want sugar with your coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Now who's fucking brewing it? That's boss moves right there. <laughs> Hit it with the beans. Yo, Alfzilla with another 10. Thank you, dude. Oh, hey, thank you, Alf. We appreciate you. Appreciate thank you, dude. Love happy endings. You just now, love a, a good ago, fucking I mentioned happy that ending. sometimes you need to use a payphone. And there can be several reasons for this. Traced calls. For man. instance, um, say that you've placed... Star 67. Uh, As we learned with the Walking movie up. Hackers, mm -hmm. those phones were scary, man. Yeah, you could do a lot with a payphone. Fucking weird. Or at least back in the day. But it was easy to get away with shit back then, man. They didn't have all this tracking and tech and dude, the data. Payphone, the payphones would like plug cameras. into them and fuck with shit, dude. No, oh, you gotta plug <laughs> into them, dog. It was so freaking. Newspaper. Most newspapers will require you to leave a phone number so they can call back and verify that you're not just a crank caller. Oh. In much the same way that uh, a restaurant that, uh, that makes deliveries will require you to, to leave a home phone number so they can check and make sure that the order is legitimate. Now, one thing that you must never, I repeat, never, ever do, is leave your actual home phone number because this could lead to a lot of trouble. I mean, all of this stuff, you got caught, which but nowadays probably could get caught easy. You're yeah. done, dude. Yeah, yeah chat, done. never put a phone number on Craigslist under the personal looking for sex ads. Never that would be do bad. That. Don't do it. Don't do that. But what Jack. if they just type like, hey, I'm just looking for someone to scratch my back at the park at 4 a.m. Mm. Dozen roses. Preferably all. Am I a little bit bigger than everybody? Yeah, I think you need to scoot yeah. back. <laughs> I think you're just so close. Your no. microphone, you can pull your microphone, but Louis likes being big. <laughs> I think yeah, I'm just yeah, giant. Louis moves dude. up towards the camera more than everybody else. We're back here, see? See, now I'm really small. Now I'm all the way back here. Whoa. Now I'm really big. Louis just gets up in it like this. I like to We're sitting in it. a curve table. Why just watch the video? Get in there, Louis. <laughs> no. I'm huge. Here is one where you will definitely need and by to default, use Louis, a, a large headed man. Call your man. Mark's spouse or lover and tell Can't them put that a hat you on are that the spouse thing. of one of your Mark's co-workers. And say that you have proof that your mates are having an affair. Oh. Tell them that you hired a private eye who has shown you photos <laughs> that music. made you cry. Love it. And if the mate doesn't believe you, you say, Well, if you don't believe me, here's my home number. Give me a call. <sighs> then give her the payphone uh, number. Oh, so you have to hang out on a payphone all day? And yeah. call back, add a few more assorted details about the affair. Oh, and um, like Hagrid and, and the kids, yeah. Louis, yeah. Louis looks yeah. better, bigger. In your voice uh, when you do this will just, just add to the realism. Now let's let's toss it back to our host in the studio, who will give you a rundown of my five favorite phone gags. Phone gags. Number one, call plenty of salesmen for an in-home sales pitch or demonstration. Number two, start or cancel services to Mark's home, such as. What's going on? Canceling the oh, cable to get the mark. Jeez. Gotta get Number the mark. Three, order food from restaurants that deliver. People Last love the food home. delivery one. Number four. If you know any of your Mark's reservations in advance, call to cancel them. Well, hopefully and you're not part of those, number five, uh, those call plans. Call charitable organizations yeah. and donate goods in the Mark's name. Donate their this valuables. Will cause much embarrassment Doesn't they go, when they arrive at I the didn't. <laughs> I guess it's for the kids. Interesting thoughts, <laughs> I to guess say it's the least. good. I didn't get rid of my couch. Now let's rejoin investigator <laughs> Quinn Vickers, who is joined by a young lady with a fascinating story. Oh, he's about Wherever a lady. there's love and romance, there's also pain and deceit. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Approximately 75% of my this clients come to me with problems in their love life. Belinda here was one of them. Belinda, why don't you tell them about it? Belinda, you're safe here, Belinda. This little pet. 
Go on, Belinda. Open up to the camera. <laughs> Don't touch me. They want to know. Yeah, where's his other hand, huh? Oh, it's on her lap. Oh, it's Whoa, definitely on dude. the lap. Oh, what the fuck? You're safe here, Belinda. God, uh, dude. careful. Uh, Linda is known for her revenge, and she'll get it. Fucking creep. <laughs> well, a couple of years ago, I was going to college to become a nurse. Uh -huh. And I did not think of myself as very attractive. It's got a messy desk, huh? Oh, Is he's a PI, soaking? dude. You gotta have it. I'm like so busy. You know, you always got a new case coming in. Yeah. I need this by midnight. Banana peels and soda cans. Yeah. yeah. Get a trash can. I was not very popular. And I met this guy at a pep rally. His name was Frank. And Wait, how old we went she? out, had a good time. College. And he asked me to go to a game. And later found out that he was the the head cheese on the football team. Big cock. Put it. So anyways, we went out. We had a good time. Big cheese. We had a great time. Were you happy together? <laughs> yeah, we were, were very happy? happy together. In fact, we were so happy, I was, I was hoping that he was going to ask me to marry him. Whoa. Love. And then Victoria came along. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Who the let fuck? Me Hold on. Who let the me fuck? explain. Oh. Let me explain. Explain that Victoria was a very popular, attractive girl. She oh. was also the head cheerleader. Oh. I guess she just became attracted to Frank. Uh, she started hanging around with us a lot, and uh, I really didn't know what was going on. And she's she hanging out, huh? Became quite flirtatious, and then I got really hurt. I found out that she was sleeping with Frank. Oh! <sighs> and then I got angry. Oh. Uh -oh. Really angry. And then I got angry. Oh no. And that's when I called Mr. Vickers. I make it a point never to get personally involved with my clients. <laughs> Bro, fuck out of here, dog. Oh, my God. He just literally got his hand in her lap. I just, <laughs> I just ruin their lives. I take everything they've ever known and loved. I destroy them spiritually. Sacred PIOs. I but I never, get close. never get too personal. I don't make it, I don't get it, uh, make it a square, love square. I keep it a triangle. I'm not involved in the love. I could. God knows, God will. I, I could make love to them. I could. She's a beautiful God girl. She's a beautiful it. girl. I could. Vickers. But I don't do it. I live by the code. Belinda here reminded me so much of my daughter that I just oh. had to get involved. Oh, I had to help. This is fatherly I mean, instincts. Yes, yeah, so I got to put my hand on her lap. I had to help. I activated well, Papa Bear mode. <laughs> I heard Frank. She felt he was just being victimized by Victoria. So we planned our attack directly at Victoria. You know what the Bible says? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite passage in the Bible. Never take it personal. <laughs> yeah. Never. <laughs> ever make it personal. It's a story about Jesus. Someone fuck with Mother Mary. You know what Jesus <laughs> fucking does? And no one fucks with family. Not the mother. Not the mother. Did her. First thing we found out was that Victoria had dated several guys around campus. An awful lot of them were on the athletic so teams. So is, is the mark in this situation the lady that was having sex with the dude or the dude? That's what I'm confused about yeah. right now. I don't know who she wants revenge on right. or both of them. In tandem? I mean, the both of them would be the best answer. Both of them. She wants to ruin the lady. Both lady. Victoria. The lady, Victoria. Really, I guess. She's yeah. mad at the chick. The university. So then I had Belinda... Set up an appointment at the free clinic for an examination. Uh oh. What? Well, this was great because not only did I get a free pelvic, but I also got a. <laughs> what? what? Uh, maybe, what? This is, maybe this is Wait, lady business. What? I got like, a free. She got lady business. Right? I got a, I get a free, free pelvic. Pelvic. <laughs> Free examination. So she likes getting a pelvic. She got. She. Dude, she look at her face, bro. Mm. She. <laughs> You can just walk in there and get oh. freebies all day. He's got the most smug pelvic Come exam I've ever on, seen, dude. And he was just f just a fucking doctor with barbecue tongs going, "Come on in, oh, you just want a little bit free? of a pinch me. Oh, you want it for free? I see what's going on in there. No, oh, thank <laughs> nothing no. better than the feeling of barbecue your feet sauce, up some stirrups, <laughs> barbecue Dr. tongs, pepper. You know, I'm also an amateur OBGYN. <laughs> oh, jeez, yeah, one of these uh, folders back here got information. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And while I was there, I got a letterhead from the free clinic. At which point, I brought it back to Mr. Vickers, and he told me what to do. I had Belinda find out the names of the various athletes on the, uh, well, as a matter of fact, all the athletes on all the sports whoa, teams. Whoa, 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 there's the splash damage from yeah. this revenge. He, oh, said the, he said Victoria dated most of the men on the team. 
Yo, Dude. She pulled aggro on all of the mobs. Yeah. Dude. You don't just pull one mob. She's, She's fucking kiting the whole team. Yeah. She's building a different kind of fantasy football team, dude. <laughs> she's, oh my god. She's, uh, she's AOE farming right now. Oh my god. Then on free clinic stationery, I had her write a letter to each of them. The letter stated that Victoria had been to the free clinic and had tested positive for syphilis. Siffies? All oh. right. To everybody on the team. Everybody. So, like, even if you were the one guy that didn't sleep with her, you know everybody on the else on the did. team did. They got. Mm -hmm. And that each of them were sexual partners in this little peccadillo. Well, they link it all in the forms? Yeah. They do, like, a dude. tree of who you, this has been with? <laughs> That's <laughs> rough, man. Damn. That's... I guess you just, you just send a letter out to everybody just to be safe. Yeah. You don't want it to spread. Yeah. Got to let everybody know. So, on Friday, I sent all of the letters to the athletic department at the college. And on Monday, well, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yo, if you got caught with this, you've pretty much exiled yourself from the school, right? Oh, yeah. It's pretty fucked, man. Uh, the, the, oh, the, the payoff yeah. is so small relative to the risk. Needless to say, Boo. the athletic department would have nothing to do with Victoria. None of the students would have nothing to do with Victoria. God, none of the students would have her. nothing to do with her, so they Bro. all had something to do with her. This girl's got some crazy eyes. Her. No one would talk to her. She's still thinking about Victoria to this <laughs> day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Vickers just loves <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, fucking... Revenge is a bitch, sweet. <laughs> she was treated like she had the plague, which pleased me to no end. So tell them what ultimately happened. Well, after two weeks of humiliation, she transferred to another junior college and again Downgraded. became the head cheerleader. And she had her jollies for a while until I again sent the same humiliating letter to the athletic department Whoa. at which point uh there was no more victoria and i have no one but Wait, mr Victor. she spread gone? syphilis what so happened far to victoria oh, no one God. wanted to be next to her the fucking cheerleading squad leader was like this girl's Dude. giving everyone syphilis yeah, yeah i get that but she said then there was no more victoria what does she mean by that dude, dude she got got exiled were those letters her 13 reasons why like what happened here, she got dude? got dude <laughs> i'm worried about some gossip girl shit Vickers to bank. <laughs> oh, oh, what the oh, fuck? Hey. Ew, ew. Careful, Whoa. dude. Ew, ew, ew. Dude, yeah. he won billion percent, has got some little fucking sex thing going on. Oh, yeah. The PI guy. Normally, I charge 20 grand <laughs> Normally. Like Normally, it's about 20 grand to tell, <laughs> give a whole football team syphilis like this. It's a lot but what? for my services. I could, uh, do do private eyes still do shit like this, or...? <laughs> I bet, dude. I don't know. I bet. Yeah, it's like break, it's like Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Yeah. <laughs> the lovers well, stories like that certainly make my day. As do the talents of our next guest. His name is Mark Lewis. His oh, occupation: God. private detective. His specialty: car revenge. Oh, yeah, no. the car guy. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> yeah, tell him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, probably the simplest way to aggravate your mark. Yeah, is it's, uh, with it's fucking tires. busted. Fuck with it. And the tires. simplest thing to do here oh, of would be to unscrew the valve. Let it cap out. And let the air out. Psst. Now, the best Easy. thing to do would be all four tires. Easy. But if you don't have enough time, make sure you do the front tires. That way, it's hard to steer, and your mark can't drive off that easily. Yeah, oh, mark, they're mark. more in danger. God, and could probably Jesus. kill. Them. They'll probably kill someone else too. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Now, a lot of people recommend putting glass or nails under the tires, but believe me, but for the best results, let the air out yourself. Now, one thing that every I like car needs... POV. Dude, that angle, bro. You just all Hello, gut. Hello, Mr. Mark Lewis. Nice you, to see you. It's all dick and gut. Can you see my belly? <laughs> my shirt big enough? Can you see my belly? It's gas. Gas. And this car Ooh. is no exception. Now, if the situation warrants it, and you need to damage the engine... Yes. The best way of doing that is adding some things to the fuel. Fuel. Like baking flour, 
sugar, regular this is granulated this sugar, is scary, or glue, epoxy. Yeah. <laughs> now this will certainly damage the engine. I know someone who course, did that shit too. This will fucking make your car explode, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh you, it ruins you, the car. You had to, yeah, you're fucked. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Attempted murder. Cost their mark a lot of time. What? And it will certainly drive your mark crazy. Oh. My clients are always asking me for an easy, efficient way of providing their marks with a massive headache. Well, I have just the thing. A locking gas cap. Now, oh. Oh, you can buy this shit, gas cap in any up. auto parts store, a couple of dollars. Oh. Wow. What you do here is remove the unlocking gas cap. Oh my god. And replace it with the locking gas cap. Oh my I god. I say, out of all the things he said so far, that one's here. the only one where I'm like, all right, I like that. That's that's good. That's fucked, dude. That <laughs> so is then they so can't fuck. fill their gas up. Oh man, uh, it's fucked up, dude. Turn it. Take. This is giving people bad ideas. Yeah, Louis fucking mind's racing. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> don't do me wrong. Do not, as a yeah. reminder, we don't support any of these ideas or the tips. They're bad. You By the way, this was made in 1989. Yeah. <laughs> this has been known. <laughs> As knowledge is circulating out there. Yeah, I saw. I see. I see people saying every now and then. Yeah, it's labeled as a comedy, and even the beginning, it's like this is for comedic purposes only. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is uh -huh. really funny. You guys are getting real deep on these jokes, then, huh? This is a really fucked up VHS tape you'd trade yeah. around with your friends. You'd be like, dude, remember when How? Stacy fucked you over, bro? I got some shit, bro. Let me watch this How tape. How many with you. views does this thing have? Uh, forty-eight. Oh, hey, I mean, eight I, years ago, dirty work is basically the plot of this movie, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. Have to take the key. Then, when your mark goes to fill up, he can't get his can't gas get cap. Can't get him. And now I got a gas cap. Provides mm. a massive headache. Come with me. Okay, here's one that dozens of clients have tried, and it really works. Take a can of black spray paint. Spray the headlights. Jesus. Ah, wow. Asshole. Oh. Asshole. That way they can't see when they're driving at night. But the remember, quest. we're not going to physically hurt anybody. <laughs> That's their fault. As the we're, Bible would say. We're just going to humiliate <laughs> them. <laughs> that way your Mark will not be able to drive at night until he has them replaced. Now, did I mention what you can do with a license plate? Huh? You Tom can Cat, remove thank it you, dude. and hide it. Or better yet, replace it with an out-of-state plate. Now, while we're down here... Way in the back is the exhaust pipe. Yep. What you can do with that is take a potato or some other solid object. Oh, no. Stuff it into the exhaust pipe <laughs> the and the Foley engine will start. Give him that hot potato surprise. <clears throat> Fake with potato in the tailpipe. Fucking chives and all. Mmm. That do shows that at <laughs> night and your mark will be late for work. Now, if you're fortunate to get under the hood, there are a lot of things we can do oh, here. Oh, no. Here's the okay, big thing. Okay, let's start over here. This is where you put the windshield washer fluid. Washer. But instead of putting the fluid, what you put in is cooking oil. What happens then oh. when the mark starts as windshield washers, oil goes all over the windshield. It's a big mess. Big splattery, oily mess. Yeah, and then the <laughs> water and oil don't mix. And birds and animals love to lick it. They come by and oh, you know, so suck it on it. Or, dude. Dude, or, dude, you could put fucking ink in there. Oh, oh, no. Like you're in fucking Mario Kart. Dude. <laughs> Which attracts a lot of <laughs> little Mario Kart squid surprise. <laughs> Dirt and a lot of dust. All right, the next thing here we'll deal with is cooling system. The idea is to put substances in there that expand with water. Baking flour. You know, Bake in. You know those little T Rexes? You like this? You <laughs> add water and then get fat. Fucking <laughs> give them one of those. Pancake batter. Or even paper mache. Oh. Now you can also put sand in here. Sand does not expand with water, but it will certainly do the job. Now, speaking of sand, this is where you put the engine oil. <laughs> put sand in there, and you will certainly damage the engine. Now, oh, I'm learning so much here. The distributor coil. Take one of these coils off. Dead man says someone actually stole my license plate once. Oh, Fuck anyone shit. who does that. Sorry yeah, to hear that. Don't Sorry, do this dude. shit to anybody, God dude. Damn, dude. It's put fucked. chewing gum. Thank you for the 98 up months. Up into the coil. My man. Put it back on. Now that will cause the car to bulk, to possibly even stall. The great thing here, though, is when the Mark takes the car to the gas station to his mechanic to try to get it fixed, it's almost impossible to find out what's wrong with it. Got him. Now. You do not have to be a mechanic to do all these things. You just have to be a little mad. 
Happy oh shit, <laughs> dude! How are you gonna get inside somebody's fucking hood of their car? Too? He said, "If you're just lucky enough, if you're it's... lucky enough." Some cars were those old cars. Maybe back in the day, but nowadays, into, like you yeah. have to unlock oh. it from the inside, and, and then it starts it yelling at you. And bah, 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 you can't bah. do that on a new car. Oh. This, is, this is 1989, <laughs> where they all just oh. fucking everything just kind of latches open. <laughs> He's fucking yeah, everything's uh, Velcro. Yeah, he just kind of Mickey Mouse it and over by the wheel. He didn't mention King somebody's car. Oh, that's amateur Rower. That's what are you yeah. doing? It's amateur. We're trying well, to damage the saying, inter- we're trying fuck. to damage their entire we're car. We're trying to get them to careen off a cliff. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you want them to explode. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the ultimate revenge. Dude, just put some paint thinner uh, on top or something, you know? Yeah. Like, something less ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. This is killing people and big crimes. And then this girl just laughs at the end of everything. <laughs> she is uh, the exorcist girl, right? Aren't you glad he's not your mechanic? Whew. Now, let's check back Ooh, with geez. investigator Quinn Vickers, who has a few more tantalizing ideas to tease. Now he's your got two girls, his hands on each of their laps. All right, well, ladies. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> These are like my daughters. This guy scares me, man. Here's a few miscellaneous ideas you might try out in your marks. Sending a letter is a beautiful trick, and it works so simply. All you need is a plain piece of paper, and you cut out the letters from magazine or newspapers, right? Oh, God. You got to say, dear so You're going to stage a ransom note? Bro, that's like so jokey. Like the That's like Batman shit. Like yeah. the fucking note with... It's like the Riddler did that. Cut yeah. out the individual letters? Yeah, but not back then, dude. Well, your fingerprints are all over not that, isn't back it? back then. Dude. Try cutting all that out without getting your fingerprints on it. This put a next glove on for the dude. arts and crafts. Put a glove on. You gotta put a glove on and cut up a magazine. You know how <laughs> fucking difficult that would be. Yeah, but it's for revenge, Justin. Dude, you'd be doing that for months. <laughs> yeah, I think people can type like that. The fucking capital letter lowercase. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I want inside your hood. <laughs> we have your daughter. <laughs> name. I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. Oh damn. Oh. oh. I would just think it's a prank from a friend. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're up to. Newspaper trimmings? Yeah. (laughs) I see what you're doing. Sociopath for sure. Yeah, it's insane. Now, if he's like most people, he's got something he's doing that he shouldn't be doing. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Did did, did, did he just self-report? He's projecting. Yeah. He gives it up. <laughs> he's self reported He's doing stuff. I guarantee you every single person on this planet. <laughs> and he's always doing He's got that. some sketchy He's got a little shit. bit of like Trump hands too. He did a little bit of the, only does the fingers and the thing. And Everyone's got that, that thing. thing. Everyone's got that thing. His is, it's A-OK. It's going to be fine. Fine. Oh, God. Fine. <laughs> Who knows about it? And even if he Who hasn't done anything recently, it. you're going to drive him up the wall wondering why anybody would send something like this to him. True, true. Now, if your mark is a member of the minority, you might turn him over to the immigration service. Yo, wow! What the wow! Fuck? This guy, this guy's racist. Come guy's a on, guys. Say a monster. Come on, Vickers. He's going to cause him hours and hours of endless paperwork trying to prove he's a citizen of this country. Now he's got to prove he's a citizen. Oh, my God. Good luck. Dude, this guy is a fucking pile what of What a garbage. demon. Oh, God, yeah. look at that face. That oh. smug. How do you revenge on this guy? <laughs> No one gets revenge. You, <laughs> Nobody you gets you P.I. Vickers. No one gets revenge. Listen to what one of my clients did. I've been having some problems with my next-door neighbor. I loaned her some money, and uh, you know she just refused to pay me back. So I was getting a little irritated, and a friend of mine told me to call you know, Mr. Vickers. And I did, and he was very nice. And what <laughs> he told me to do was call the Internal Revenue Service and mm. tell them that uh, she had... A business on the side and was making money and you know she hadn't been reporting her income so um, what they did was when i called up I told <laughs> like them the irs was, uh, has an anonymous tip line they probably do uh, you know desperate for information anyone that's committing tax fraud yeah. They, Plus don't, yeah they don't call you concerned citizen and you know what i found out a little later on was they called her in for an audit and they decided to you know go back five years they do they chat don't. you report churches <laughs> mm. Reporting churches. And wow. try to find out what, what happened to this money. And uh, from what I gathered, she's been making you know weekly trips down there. And I would imagine it's been a little bit of an inconvenience for her. But, you know, whatever. And uh, whatever. I would think that she's probably there right now. She's probably there right now. She's probably getting a paper trail. Just won't end. Getting an audit. 
Yeah. I still can't get over this guy with all the Dr. Pepper cans. Like, you couldn't have fucking tossed them for the interview? <laughs> like, god damn, dude. Dude, he is his fucking table, man. He's garbage, man. This mm-hmm. guy's fucking piece of shit. And then shit. what is that on the left? He's got his hat on or something. It's like a plant. Yeah, it's potatoes. a pepperoni pizza. It's, it's got a big chunk whole, of trash. Hawaiian sweet rolls. <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Bananas. Yeah. Church is not paying taxes. That's why we got to make it Djibouti Church. You know, oh. Twitch is taking away our sub split. <laughs> yeah. And the taxes True. are always fucking us. Popping off with Peter Pop. So the Church of Djibouti. You guys won't rat us out, will you? Nah. <laughs> Join up. Always keep in mind that a newspaper is a great source for getting even. One of my clients placed an ad in Lamarck's name, advertising that he was going to have a big moving sale. Everything in the house going for one-fifth of its cost. Nice. And needless to say, he picked a time, a weekend, when he knew the Mark would be home relaxing, right? The guy was inundated by bargain seekers, ruined his weekend, ruined his life. Another cute trick is to place an ad saying that you are the sucker and you have $50,000 that you're open to any and all investment possibilities. <laughs> oh, I'm open to any and all. Hey, everybody. I oh, have nothing but cash. Okay. I need some ideas on how to spend these God bad damn, boys. it's weighing me down hard, boys. I, don't know I need what to get to rid of this. this. I'm just sitting there. Does anyone know what there? Get real rich quick, Steve. <laughs> they say don't just keep it. I got to get rid of it, right? It's 50 grand just sitting there. Side him up to Lululemon. He'll love it. <laughs> of course, you include the Mark's phone number. Well, needless to say, the phone will be ringing off the hook with all the cuckoo birds out there who have the great investment possibility. The I buy junk cars. Yeah. Uh, Multi level market. The Help me flip houses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, I see those a lot. Time on shares. Cardboard? Yeah. Wow. Help me flip a house in cardboard. I buy yeah, prescription medications. Dude. It's terrifying. <laughs> You want to make your mark real paranoid? Listen to what another one of my clients did. My former boss fired me for no damn reason whatsoever. My former boss fired me. He fired me for no reason. (laughs) I think your boss fired you for a good reason. (laughs) Because I was fucking up everybody's cars. (laughs) Put his name Everyone's on the car schools. I don't know why you like better like fired me. I don't know what I did <laughs> for like no reason. This guy's walking with his gut too. He's comfortable. Newspaper and making sure that he received. They so said he put his boss's obituary. So I put his name on the obituary column in the newspaper mm-hmm. and making sure that he received it. I mailed it to him with a note saying, "Someone out there is watching you." <laughs> then I put an ad in one of those gay magazines. Whoa! Oh. And put his name and number. What'd the ad say? Which magazine? <laughs> <laughs> I eat ass. Yeah, I'm trying to find out what that magazine is. And that worked on several levels. That worked like, on several levels. Well, he yeah. got what He became gay? He made a lot of great friends and had a great yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> You're hooking him up, brother. He's got a dating app. Yeah, joke's on him. He found a man and fell in love. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> got him. And now he's happy. <laughs> And he's well dressed. <laughs> now he fucking discovered he's actually truly happy with himself now. <laughs> Joke's on him. <laughs> First, it affected his marriage. Then, every time that phone rang, I can just see how paranoid he really was. You could see him? Were you binoculars? You're watching him? Binos Whoa, in dude, the window? He's across no, the street no, no, with no, Nick no. in the car. I was in the bushes right next to his house. I didn't need binoculars. <laughs> In the bushes with the gay magazines. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, dude. He's, uh, he's doing it. Weevil dude. Been loving the VODs. Get me through the work week. Stumbled across mashed potatoes hey, again. Hey, Almost died. Hey, uh-huh, thanks, dude. Weevil. Thanks, hey, man. Just jumping Chucky, out of the seat. thank you, too. Thank you. Then just think of the cost of him having to change the phone number and contact all his friends. I like that's the part that gets him off. He's like, God damn, I think about that. Oh, oh so good. Ah, Probably still getting those calls. I really deserved it. Man asking for gay I sex. I enjoyed it. He really enjoyed it. <laughs> you know, a newspaper is a great source for revenge. Be inventive. Check it out. You're going to come up with dozens of ideas of your own. <laughs> it's like his oh, first smile he's fuck. ever smiled in his life. The next time you Dude. open that newspaper, a new set of eyes are looking at it. <laughs> yeah. A Dude, whole yeah. world of revenge. They're just filled with scams. Yeah. It's all newspapers. Where's junk? Scams. Mm. Dead people. And the cartoons. Don't forget the little eh, some funnies, you know. Yeah, no. Calvin, if you really Calvin want to get a lot of attention, put it in the penny saver. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Ooh, penny That's saver. That's where they really Damn. get you. You know, Mr. Vickers is right. You don't have to be an expert to create some wonderful revenge techniques. We've been receiving dozens of letters 
from people just like you. Oh. Detailing some delicious bits of revenge. Wait, what? so there is more episodes to this tape, or she's just making this up? Oh, this is part one. This is part all one. The so how would people know to send them tapes of revenge? Maybe they yeah. send out, like, an ad and, like, send us your stories. Yeah. I don't know, man. A woman from Fort Worth, Texas. Ooh, dramatization. Said, yeah. And telling us how she Coke. got even with a former friend who owned a popular Coke vending this? machine. <laughs> yeah. She knows that Brenda loves a refreshing taste of a Coca-Cola. She stuffed cotton wet into this? the chain. Oh, oh no! Oh this no! Oh, you monster! Oh, two fingers. Oh, so oh. fucked, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that is so it upset fucked. Upset former friend's customers because the machine wouldn't return their change. The way she walked out. Yeah, fuck everyone. Someone's That's gonna be, not how you Someone's going to be like, where the fuck's my change? Who put cotton in here? <laughs> you put a bunch of slugs in there, dude. That way she can't make more money. Yeah. Wow. If you put cotton in there, it's just going to make it so all their change gets stopped, and she gets all that money. One lucky person will burst yeah. the bubble of no, the cotton. No, the owner opens up the vending machine, and it's like filled with change. Who are they going to give it to? There's nobody there to refund. You just made her a bunch of extra money. I just hope you're like the seventh person, and you hit the pinata. You get the... You yeah, it, it gets corked up. Yeah, go, and then, oh, yeah. fuck. Big gamba. Seven bucks. And two, when the woman returned a few days later and pulled out the cotton, she oh. hit the jackpot. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that, she got it. Wow. Oh, look at these See? right here. Yo, that dog level, is dude. straight chilling, Yo, bro. there's a dog there. That's, That's the revenge the right there. dog. Is that a real dog? <laughs> yeah. A man no, from no. Tempe, Arizona wrote in saying that his favorite prank is to phone his mark from a... Is that Donald Trump with a ponytail? <laughs> dude, he's got a like... Jedi braid. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah, Trump with a braid. <laughs> is your refrigerator running? <laughs> you better go catch it. <laughs> I got him. I'm going to come. Phone, preferably during the day. I know you love those gay magazines. <laughs> then yeah. once the phone <laughs> Look at Trump. This is the phone. Got the man dripped, dude. Wow, look at that. Leaves the payphone's receiver hanging off the hook, effectively <laughs> tying up his Mark's phone line for hours until the phone company can reconnect his service. Keep those cards uh, they don't do that in, anymore. They, they, they got, well, the Question. phone company's got wise Name the that. location where the average person feels most secure, most comfortable. Answer, their home. Naturally. Naturally. After all, a person's home is their castle, right? The only problem is that none of us have a moat to protect us. Yo, what? Wait, we're doing home oh. vandalism now? Huh? He's about <laughs> to take us on. What is this guy doing? <laughs> He's Dude, postured up, man. <laughs> He's ready to get some kind of revenge. A tour of what one can do to a Mark's home. All right. First things first. The mailbox. Easy pickings. Oh, everybody shit. Everybody has a mailbox, and everybody reaches for their mail. Who says you can't put more than mail in there? Huh? Scorpions! How about some pancake batter? Motor oil? <laughs> Jello? Pudding? Anything go in there. Dead just fish. close your eyes and think of something nasty you wouldn't want in there. It's just Get a federal picture. crime. Poop. Federal offense. Oh, you put a poop in there? Practically every Practically. homeowner takes pride in a really beautiful oh, lawn. Oh no! Like your lawn, don't you? Oh, gonna wreck do your this, whole. Dude. Oh. It's considered. He's doing this in broad daylight. <laughs> yeah. Make sure no one's watching. Pride right. of ownership of a house. Of course, to me, it's just a gigantic opportunity. You see, a little weed killer in a bottle like this can work wonders on a lawn. See, it not only kills the weeds, it kills the grass. So you can spray this over and make all kinds of designs on somebody's lawn. Oh, oh. while I'm down here, might penis. as well pinch off a few <laughs> big human-sized oh, turds. Dude. They'll think it's a dog. Oh, no. Yo, whose dog's taking these big shits? It's killing all the grass. <laughs> it's fucking, I'm picking up, like, human-sized shit <laughs> so gonna, every like, time. you spell shit out in the grass and have it all die around that area. Mm. Dicks. As a matter of fact, you could even spell out obscene words. In a couple of weeks, when the grass dies, wham. You'll have trouble with the neighbors for the next month. Wham. Okay, we're at the Okay. We know. Oh, thank you, Mikey. If you're really looking for a way to tick off your newfound friend, how about the doorknob, the keyhole, some oh, nice no. epoxy glue right in there? <sighs> what a dick. He's Ouch. shit, man. Dude, this guy's evil. Glue. This is going to cost him not only aggravation, but money, Do you money guys believe too. in karma? All these, yes. all, I bet no, everybody yeah, in dude. here at a horrible, painful end. Yeah. yeah, I just have a feeling karma worked its way, you know. Yeah. I don't think of like the like there's energy or anything like that, but I do think a person kind of has a thing coming at the end of it. Mm -hmm. 
Just and wait till nice the PI Vickers just gets it, dude. All these years of abuse. <laughs> thing about the front door. Most front doors have a mail slot. And you know where mail slots go? The living room. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, you only do this if you really want to get back at your newfound friend here. Because a lot of times they put hoses right next to the front door. And you know what you can do with that hose? Oh. You can run it right into the mail slot. Right wow. there. My you turn God. it on. You split the scene. Captain Happy comes home and he can paddle his way to the telephone. <laughs> paddle his way out. He would oh, literally swimming. just ruin someone's entire downstairs. <laughs> He'll be swimming in his uh, living room. Oh, bruh. Why don't you just pee in the slot? It's pretty fucked. Well, then they got your DNA, dude. Oh, they do reverse testing on your pee pee? No, they're not going to do that, but I just think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> now, while we're at the front door here, what better way to get to you, Mark, than by leaving a message on that very same door? Wow, what fucking way to... Say he's got somebody up. working for him, like a gardener, a pool man, a bottled water guy. You can leave a message for them on there. Like for the pool guy, for instance. Say, uh, drain the pool and give it an acid bath. That's usually a couple of hundred bucks. Or better yet, for the gardener, those expensive hedges. Pull them out. Put in pumpkins or palm trees. Or you can get pumpkins. that bottled water guy. Leave a palm message from the mark expensive. saying, hey, <laughs> stop making nice with my wife. I know what you're doing. I'm on to you. Hey, there's thousands of things you can yeah, do Yeah, if there messages. was a random note on my door, I'd just be like, oh, what the fuck is this? Throw yeah. It Throw it away. Be yeah. creative. And they got them on the cameras now. Have yeah. fun with it. Cameras all over the place. Now, if he has a pool, <gasps> you can get access to it without anybody seeing you. Insidious. Woo. What a gallon of cooking oil wouldn't do for that pool. Oh, he's oh. a drain the whole system. pool. Hey, and when the swimmers come out, they have this beautiful glowing slime all over them. No. Not the AC, no. dude. Oh, is that a bath bomb? You, Leave listen, the AC a, out of it. What is that? They've done a lot of fucked up things so far in this video that I would never do. But fucking with somebody's air conditioner is just crossing a line, dude. Dude, I don't even That's know what the worst one is thing. we've heard of today. Record high heat waves coming. Oh. Time for the AC to be on the fridge. Bro. Oh, inconvenient time. Dead of August. Oh, boy. <sighs> if your special someone happens to have an air conditioning unit like this, Buy yourself a nice little jar of salmon eggs like this. Oh, oh that's okay. oh, that's kind of funny. Oh. Get it at uh, any sporting goods we'll have store. Fish shooting out of the vents all week. <laughs> salmon eggs. Open it up. Oh, dump it in the main filter unit. Oh. And in a couple of minutes, oh, they're gonna think they're living in Newark. Oh, whoa, she housed in Jersey. Sorry, <laughs> boys. God, dude. Hey, what do you make Jersey oh, into this? Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, what's wrong, what's like wrong with this? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Looks like Captain Happy's problems go back a few generations, huh? Wait, he's well, inside the house? Oh, I got it. it so looks like if I, you happen to get inside the house of the person you, you hate, do this. Back door was open. house like this. Here's a couple more things you can do that are fun. Firstly, mustache. The thermostat. Oh, it's gonna draw mustache oh. on Grandma. Mm-hmm. Come on. That's Classic. too childish. It's a good one. We're here for revenge. This is a heat thermostat. You want to turn it all the way up on high, especially on a nice hot day. And then you take some glue out, and you pop it right in there so it stays on it's high. stuck. A couple of hours, they're going to have that sauna they've always dreamed of. Mm, I don't think that exists the anymore. The kitchen is a limitless source of retribution. One of the neat little don't things Don't shit I where like you eat, do. folks. Fuck. It, it will haunt you. Mm. Switch the labels on the canned goods. Peas, carrots, onions. Oh, you other kinds monster. Of things. No, just confuse them. Just seems like so much work for a lot of these. Oh, like, God some damn. I need some refried beans. Wait, I opened it up. It's peaches. Dog food. Sneak into their house. It's just a oh, switch all the canned labels. Why does this fucking taste like dog food? What the fuck? Oh, Everything. it's hormone chili. It's awful. Everything tastes like cat food. Dog like food. menudo, corned beef hash, dog food. Yeah. Imagine the surprise when you open up what you think is a can of salmon and there's nothing but dog food in there. Pretty good gross out, don't you think? I make them a gross dad. It's a bit of a prank, yeah. right? Ugh. I mean, you kind of so open much it and work. look at it before you pour it on anything. Oh, yeah. I added it to my casserole without looking at it. <laughs> now, when most people open the refrigerator, they expect to find food inside. Yes. But yeah. if you got there ahead of your mark and, uh, say, put some dirty laundry in there, huh? How about that? Look at this. Quite an impressive little uh, fruit salad. Nice right? Frank's yeah. clothes. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that probably belonged to the pool man, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. What do we got here? Ooh, <laughs> little breeding room in there, don't you think? <laughs> well, if that doesn't gross them out, you could probably think of a thousand other things that will. You could probably wipe your fridge. ass on a piece of toilet paper and put it in there Dude. if you really wanted to. Yeah, he's saying like oh you could be as gross God. as you want.
But then, That's actually a top tier one. It kind of works anywhere. Yeah. Wipe your ass with something. Leave it somewhere. <laughs> just leave just it. Just like skid mark something good. Whether it's the car or the house. Wiped your ass on something and left. I mean, if you think about it, that prank has probably been around since the dawn of time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Just wiping poop. Well, that's how early wars were fought. About it. Get the big picture, huh? Finally, here's what my father taught me. Now, if the house has a dishwasher, and these kind of cupcakes usually do, you just open it up, and you get all the good dishes, and you jam them inside. What? And you get a packet of dye, just like this. Packet of dye? And you stuff it inside. You shut it. You let it mix around, and their whitest china is going to look like a Rorschach test. Whoa. That's actually kind of cool. That's like a DIY. Whoa. Fucking Whoa. Up that fine china. Paint all your shit. Oh, no, my fine china. I mean, if it didn't, Damn. you know, destroy the stuff, that could be a good prank, right? You pull the you pull the stuff out, yeah. and you're like, oh, it's covered in ink. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for now, kids. Just remember, trashing your enemies can be a lot of fun. Dude, he didn't even talk about pooping in the microwave and then turning it on. Well, I'm what? definitely surprised by the amount of uh, not poop content in this revenge. Team. Very yeah. high, yeah. Brow, very high brow, poop, dude. Not one poop gag. Yeah, it's it's more more the poop on the porch. Wait, wait, There was a poop. There was poop on the porch. But a but child that, did but that. That's like dog poop in a bag. That's we've all seen that. Don't poop on your neighbors. That's one. Okay, they had one. I think there'd be more. We'll wipe your ass, rub it on the payphone. Well, how you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the part you talk into, too. You know, right where the mouth goes. All right, now for part two. The ear does make more contact, yeah. <laughs> you do both. You wipe your ass, wipe it on the ear part, yeah. the mouth part. And then they turn the button. Payphone, payphone, and just and rub it. And they won't notice they, the smell they, they, <laughs> until yeah, they're these talking. Are, these are pretty fucking heavy, man. <laughs> now we're thinking like this, man. Kyle. It's not good. And now to wrap things up. Let's pay one last visit to our experts as they tell us their favorite act of revenge. Their favorite oh. act. Oh, yo, look at that. Best Doswell. My Doswell coming in with a one hundred. Oh, Dozzy. Thank you, man. OG. Thank you, Doswell. Thank you so much for a hundred months, man. We appreciate Dude, that. Thank you. That's crazy. When they just Dude. finally so cool to, to see. see. Doswell takes off the Bahamas with some of the chick. Then he sends her a letter about three weeks later saying he wants a divorce, but he needs money. He tells her to sell their 1986 Porsche. She keep half as long as she sends him the other half. So she puts an ad in the paper. Brand I love the people back then, too. You get a letter that says, hey, do this insane thing. Do this and that. And people go, sell your Porsche. He wrote it in a letter, I guess. He wants me to sell his Porsche. I'm not going to ask him There's what I say. Yeah. I'm just going to put it in the newspaper. <laughs> I better do it right away. It's a real letter. He meant Whoa. business. I do think that was kind of a boomer thing is the chain letter stuff. Like they believed it, it would curse them. Yeah. 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 Porsche for sale, $10. <laughs> the phone <laughs> rang off the hook. First guy that comes along, she sells it to him for 10 bucks. 10 she keeps bucks. five and mails her husband the other five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but the topper is she starts dating the guy that she sold the car to. Oh! Ends up marrying him. Oh! She gets a new husband and gets to keep the Porsche. Nice! <laughs> You know, my, uh, my favorite act of revenge is really the oldest one in the Jesus. books, but I love it. This guy's got a big head. This guy's back. He's got huge censored. All you have to do is, is, is call your mark as many times as possible during the day the or the track evening. It. And every time you call, you ask for Peter or um, whatever name comes to mind. Now, after four or five times, the mark is going to be a little irritated. After a dozen times, he's going to be pissed off. And after a couple of dozen times, he's going to be violent. Now, you stop calling at about 10 o'clock at night. You wait until about 2 or 3 in the morning, and then you call him up again, and you say, Hi there, uh, this is Peter. You had any phone calls for me today? <laughs> uh, I know that it's silly, but it's still my favorite gag. That's lame. Mm. I guess it's, uh, you know, the finer things in life. Yeah. yeah. It'd be kind of funny. Meanwhile, this guy with the car was, like, killing people. <laughs> <laughs> Black out their headlights and have them drive off a fucking cliff. Fuck them. This guy's murdering people. You sliver the brake lines <laughs> so over time the fluid pours out and they won't be able to stop. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, shh. Don't tell my wife. Look. He was piping me... his wife? I'm potatoing Bro, is her. Is that a potato? I'm potatoing her. <laughs> He's spudding the muffler. <laughs> tell you my favorite. Spud the muff? Catch up. <laughs> Jeez. Story. I it love shoving happened. my spud in a mine, construction worker just went through an ugly divorce. His wife and he argued constantly over who was going to get the convertible. Well, he lost. 
And of course, his ex-wife <laughs> kept rubbing it into him. <laughs> so I suggested that one night he get a cement truck, which we did. We went over to the house, and there was the car parked in the front <laughs> with real. the top down. It's cartoony. So what did he do? You pour the cement into the car, right up to the top. I guess you could say that uh, their relationship was cemented, but a little too late. That was a great video. Did I get oh. it in one take? Did I screw it up? I think that was everything, right? Oh. <laughs> Someone said those gay pulling out some crazy plays. <laughs> those man. gay magazines aren't mine. <laughs> They're for the revenge. I swear. <laughs> you know, this may not seem like anything extraordinary, but I like it because it works so smoothly. I like checking the marks mail. I take out the bills every day. Whoa! I do this for a couple Bro, of months. This guy fucks this. with this guy fucks with the people's mail every day. Yo, he opened your mail. Oh, fucked up, man. Even the ones, and especially the ones that are overdue and last notice. <laughs> the funny part is the Mark won't even notice this is happening until the utility companies turn off his telephone, his <laughs> gas, his electric, etc. And he'll have a lot of fun listening to those bill collectors pounding down the deadbeat's door. Jesus. <laughs> that is a great way to go to federal prison, people. Yep. Fantastical. <laughs> I had a buddy. Hey, one. check me. What was the point of that? <laughs> hey, got him. Who got evicted from the Always house. Always one step ahead. Uh, what, buddy? It was me. Yeah, and I wanted to get back at this landlord. I wanted to get back bad. And he lived so far away, I thought I'd pull something off real sweet. So I decided to sell his house. That's huh? right. <laughs> it was really, really simple. All I did was call a real estate agent. Real estate agent comes down to the house. We sign the papers. <laughs> I tell him, hey, sell it for half of what it's worth. I want to sell now. They make the deal. By that time... <laughs> I'm out. It's just bada bing bada boom. Like they don't ask any questions. You Bro, just gotta they didn't have find any someone. sort of two factor fucking Fuck, checks nothing. or anything. Yeah, a real torture can just take a commission and be like, oh, you want to sell your half half your house? Sure. So, well, you are standing here. You're at the living property. inside. Damn. Yeah, you must own it. I don't think this works. No that deed, way. no nothing, Who no needs questions. A deed? No deed, no questions. Yeah. Just go uh, skip the escrow process. Just get a paper deal and do it easy. Yeah. Jeez. The door. I don't want to talk about what the final result was, but I wonder what happened to that down payment. Where's a down payment? So there you have shoulders. it. Shoulders. I truly hope that you have enjoyed this edition of How I think to she's Get stuffing. She's got shoulders. Yeah, you can see the football bam, bam, pads. Bam. You think so? Yeah. Bench. It has been our pleasure to <laughs> inform you of the they don't move with her? The they look yeah, like giant yeah. pillows? You have if and when you should find them necessary. It is also our hope that you will never actually have to use any it does never do this. Never uh, do ever, any of these ever. things or the things that I said as a joke. We never condone any of this stuff. This is uh, all for uh, ed edutainment. Uh oh. Hmm. Excuse me. Hello? Uh, yeah, is this uh, Linda Blair? Yes. Hey, yeah, Linda, my name is Rick. Uh, listen, I was driving down the street past your house a few minutes ago and uh, I saw some smoke coming from your house. Oh my gosh! Oh well, thank you for calling. Got um, um. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I I have to go. Um, I, I hope you had fun. Bye. She is really this is Linda good. Blair. I got a big mm -hmm. order of pea soup for you at your house. <laughs> yeah. I have a an old priest and a young priest here to see you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she didn't even hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Written by Bob Logan. Sure, Good Bob. Job, Bob. I'm sure, Bob Logan got his comeuppance. Dude, why is there so much time after? People. Oh, that's how VHS tapes were. Because oh, it okay. just goes black, and if you listen to it and turn it up and play it in reverse, it's probably a message from Satan. Yeah. Oh shit! On how Satan gets revenge. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It's just this. Big sub. Big sub. Yeah. This is Calming. not good. This is not good. You sleep to that? Wow. How to get revenge, chat? Don't. <laughs> that's a very, oh, that's a good face to leave so off on good. from that. That wow. guy was just a, an idiot. Like he he just couldn't eat Chinese food. I mean, he's doing oh, it all yeah, wrong. the chopsticks were classic, dude. Uh, I, I want to eat all this. shovel it in. I'm trying to eat it, but it's not going in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> an OG mad lad trying to yeah. eat chopsticks with the, just the rice, to, the, both hands too. Also, like he's seen people use chopsticks. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. Look, I thought he was mixing. You know, sometimes you like mix your noodles, yeah, sure, sure, spice, sure. Get sure. Going. But Just you do it for like for a, a sec, you know, a couple seconds. Ask for a right. fork. A little bit of pro tip. Also, if you're a waiter and you see this guy struggling, you'd be like, hey, you want hey, to bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. We have spoon. <laughs> some people you help, and some people you just let them struggle. And let them burn. And, and, and to be fair, knowing uh, what this guy turns out to be, you probably don't want to help him. Yeah. Watch out, dude. Put sand in your fucking engine, dude. Watch out, boy. They planned a gun on him. Yeah. <laughs> Frame the dude for Robert. I don't even know which one was the worst out of all of that. Like, probably some of the car ones. The car like, actually car died. Me, the car one's going to kill somebody. But maybe, it, the it one that, others, right? maybe the one that Vickers just trashed that guy's life. He's like, yeah. oh, the death I ruined the marriage, and I did the death certificate, and I fucked his... Max is you know, his Oh, man. Blah, blah, blah. He can't go to the dentist or the doctor. That one was pretty bad. That was really fucking but bad. But then the hose in the mail socket, too, just leaving that on. The AC. That's bad. That, oh, no, dude. Deep, Fuck, yeah. this is an evil tape. It, it must be destroyed. Curse it. It must be destroyed. Burn it. I did like how he quoted the, the teachings of Christ, though. I thought that was an important me message, too. Uh, the words of Jesus Christ. An eye for an eye. See you later, ah. Vod Gang. Let's move along, shall we? Bye. <laughs>